What up guys, Ben Vapes here with another vape tutorial coming at you. Today we're going to be blowing some clouds, reviewing some juice, and uh, practicing vape techniques that will help you get the densest, milkiest, and fattest clouds. Alright, first you're going to want to pick up your mod. Uh, this is a quick mod review here. We got the uh, Wisemech Relux uh, 200. Takes three batteries. Look at these, these big old batteries. Uh, 3.7 volts each. So, uh, you know, I'm running this at a comfy 62 point... 62.5 watts. Uh, probably my favorite wattage next to 62.3. Uh, 58.7 is another great one. But uh, I'm a half battery right now, so I'm not trying to run that low, you know, because I want them dense clouds. But uh, all right, let's get right into it. Today I'm going to be uh, reviewing this juice. It's called Dinner Lady. Premium quality. Look at that bottle. Look at that design. You know, very aesthetically pleasing. I like the yellow. Unlike your uh, traditional bottle. See if I can find one. I don't think I have one. They're typically, typically, typically clear with like a label, but this one's yellow, which is really nice. Kind of looks like a B, you know? So uh, when you first taste it right, you're gonna get like a big rip of lemon tart. A big lemon rip. But as you start using it, the flavor kind of evolves. And for some reason, the uh, neurotransmitters in your brain will confuse it due to the uh, natural wiring of your brain, and it'll start to taste like Fruit Loops, which is a reaction I've gotten from a lot of my friends. And uh, yeah, so let's give her a try. Very fruity. Very fruity indeed. Ooh, it's like smoking from the lens. Can't, can't mess with this. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, very fruity, very loopy, but uh, great flavor. You know, overall, I would probably rate this my top three flavors. You know, the other ones being uh, probably Milkios by uh, Milkman E-Liquids. Great one. Uh, let's just take a look at the bottle. Yeah. Very nice uh, bottle, very aesthetically pleasing. But uh, yeah. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna teach you guys how to blow some dense clouds. And I mean dense. Okay, first one, one of the most basic beginner techniques that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna exhale as fast as possible. The second your finger releases the trigger, you wanna let that cloud out so that all your friends can see. Because I promise you, the faster you let it out, the less the smoke absorbs into the follicles within your mouth. And so, instead of being absorbed into your mouth and lungs, it is immediately released and every square centimeter of vapor particle is released into the atmosphere. Alright, so let's see. Let's just do a little quick demonstration, alright? Fast release versus slow release. Ready? Alright, that was a fast release. Let's do a slow release and see what happens. Not nearly as dense. I would say roughly one third to uh, a quarter denser, or the, a quarter to a third denser, or less dense. Sorry, I'm fumbling on my words. You know, this is my first vape review. I'm a little nervous, but uh, yeah. Okay, so that's like easily the first tip. You know, that's the first trick you got to do. Second trick, you got to do some uh, breathing exercises because you want to expand your diaphragm to its full potential. So I would say every night before bed, I want you to go. I want you to lay on the bed and I want you to take in like 10 deep breaths as deep as you can and hold it just to expand your diaphragm naturally. And so once you keep expanding it over and over again, it'll start to stretch out and create kind of like this empty like void in your chest, which will then fill up when you breathe in the smoke. So I've been doing that for a while, and uh, let me let me step back so I can just show you the magnitude of these clouds. Told me not to call, but I clear out my clothes, pack on my bags. All right, but I'm I'm also a seasoned vapor, so you know it's very natural for me to be able to blow clouds like this. But uh, yeah, other than that, there aren't that many other exercises. There's the breathing exercises. There's the fast exhale. I guess you know it all depends, and also the uh, viscosity of your juice. You know, you want to pick the densest, gooeyest juice for you, for you to vape. Because, you know, the more it drips, 
the more it clouds. You know, that's just a common rule of thumb. Uh, that's a common saying in the uh, vapor community. But uh, yeah, this is uh, it's been great. This is uh, Vin Vapes, uh, episode one. I'll uh, catch you guys next week for another vape juice review and uh, tutorial. Until then, see ya. Remember to smash that like, <laughs> smash that subscribe, and smash the hell out of that play button. I'll see you next week.